Into the corner, back with Moore once again for Timothy Madden. And now taken back the other way through neutral. Here's David Wolsfeld into the right side. Wolsfeld working his way in. Another big save by Hansen for the Wildcats. And into the Matamini defensive zone. 9.55 remaining in a very fast moving first period. Here's Nathan Bump, centering pass in front. Darnus makes a save on a great scoring chance by Jack Bakken. Wildcats on the year, 21-5-1 record, 10-2-8 on the Mississippi 8 Conference. And the opportunity now in front, they score! David Wolfsfeld finishes it off, and the Zephyrs with a 1-0 lead. Sending the puck you know, through the high slot there on the back end, and then he was able to throw it back in on that. Easy for Waldorf to just kind of tap it in. Into the neutral zone, tipped on the way, held in here by Schmidt. Schmidt centering, pass in front, big save by Darnus! Draghi, back on the corner once more, able to connect that time with Bruner. Back to Lynch and right side again. Wolfsfeld scores! Two goals on the nine for David Wolfsfeld, and the Zephyrs have a two to nothing lead. What a great shot by Wolfsfeld there. I mean, just going short side, upper corner. He uh, definitely had that pick down today. First shot of the period for either team. We mentioned yeah, the shots even 12 to 12. Now the opportunity here. Shot on, save made by the goaltender. Hansen is able to poke it free. Now loose through the blue paint and no, the puck stays out. Hansen was out of position, colliding behind the net with Carter Haycraft and his defenders bailed out the junior goaltender. On the backhanded effort out in front, Jinx now loose in the blue paint. Bodies are down, and the ref is out of position. And now the whistle will blow. But they score. No, a penalty shot is coming. We're going to have a penalty shot. And that's going to be because a Matamidi player probably covered the puck with their hands inside the crease. So here's Helen with a penalty shot opportunity. Helen in on Dardis, tried the toe drag, big save by Dardis. Going back to the left side again, big drive, hit the inside part of the post. You got lucky the chance for the Zephyrs, now walking back in, that's not lucky, that's talent. Cav Bruner, the power play goal, three to nothing, Matamidi. And what a shot there by uh, number two, uh, Brunner there, he did it. You know, made no mistake, there's a bunch of traffic out in front of Hansen there, and he just came in and was able to just rip his pass. Right top corner again. Against the Chisago Lakes Wildcats. Now a turnover at the blue line, back into the attacking zone. Opportunity now, Egan and a save. No, he scores! Just enough of it leaking through, and Patrick Egan scores and makes it 4 to nothing. And that is a tough goal for Hansen to give up there. Egan was able to uh, just sneak one right past him. And of course, just a great job of uh, picking that puck off of the defender's stick for the Wildcats. Hodge Liebeck, back to the blue line. Owen Herod, Herod wristed shot through, hit a stick out in front, and harmlessly the wraparound attempt, trying to get connected there. And a save made by the goaltender, Jack Hansen, into the attacking zone, taken away back by Matamidi. And they'll send it back once more. Now the opportunity here, David Wolfsfeld. Wolfsfeld working in, trying a great save by Hansen. Here's Ryan Schmidt, as now breaking his way on in. Darnus makes another fine save, and the puck is still loose on the far side. That came out, and a wide open net missed by Chisago Lakes. Face off on by Matamidi, and after a year of keeping the seat warm, the Matamidi Zephyrs, Kings in Section 4, return to the throne and head back to the state tournament at XL Energy Center next week.